Yeah, Lucas, they got the victory in dramatic fashion. We will also show highlights and get a live look with Matt and the gang later in the show. We also have spring game highlights where Cowboy football was in action. And that is the perfect adjective for it, Lucas. Wild. A couple of late game heroics tonight, some emotional matches over the weekend. It's been an eventful past couple of days. Before the spring game festivities, there was a race around campus where crossing the finish line means more than accomplishing a personal goal. Amelia Henderson has more. It was an emotional scene at the Michael and Ann Greedwood Tennis Center as both the men's and women's tennis program celebrated Senior Day. The Cowboys honored their four seniors Lucas Finzelberg, Lucas Gurch, Arjun Kothi, and Nathan Roper. Onto the action, the fifth ranked boys in orange hosted Tulsa and were looking to get the Senior Day victory. Starting with doubles play, third ranked duo in the nation Julian Cash and Arjun Kothi made quick work of the opponent and left it to teammates Lucas Gurch and Jurance Mendoza where they would go on to win after this match point to give OSU a 1-0 lead. On to singles where senior Nathan Roper was doing everything possible to come out on top. However, before he could finish, his senior brothers took care of business with Gurch and Kothi and Cash all finishing Tulsa players in two sets to take the three points and come out on top 4-0. The men have won four straight after the sweep of the Golden Hurricanes on Friday. The Pokes head down to Norman on Saturday. This will be the first Bedlam meeting of 2017 for Cowboy Tennis. The Cowgirls and Cowboys have combined for a 21-2 home record thanks to a great atmosphere and a world-class tennis center. But for Ann Greenwood, Building this tennis facility is more than just a name on the wall. Austin Ivan has more. You can find Ann Greenwood and Norman next weekend at the Big 12 Championships as the Cowgirls look to repeat as conference champions. Welcome back to the Poke Report. Alongside Lucas Messina, I'm Tyler Segerman. Cowgirls softball took on Central Arkansas and it ended in walk-off fashion. Always, and the Cowgirls are now 7-0 against the Sugar Bears of Central Arkansas. So the Cowgirls took care of business and about 50 feet away the Cowboys were in a battle of their own. OSU had the tough task of hosting Oral Roberts, but the long ball was alive early for the Cowboys. Garrett McCain up to bat in the first, Golden Eagles pitcher Logan Michaels hangs one, and that one is definitely not coming back. McCain with a two-run shot to give the Pokes the early lead. Moving on to the eighth, OSU down by one until... Wow, that monstrous display of power from Colin Simpson puts the Pokes back into the lead six to five. After giving up a ninth inning run, the Cowboys had a man in scoring position in the 11th. Andrew Rose at the plate, and he knows it. Fly ball, left center field, ball game. The ground rule double drives in the final run, and the Cowboys defeat Oral Roberts on a walk-off 7-6. Oklahoma State picks up win number 21, and on the season, as Oral Roberts drops its 10th on the year. Every run that scored before the ninth inning for both teams came on a home run. The Cowboys travel to Lubbock this week to take on the number four ranked Red Raiders. The Cowgirl golf team couldn't get it done as they played in the Bedlam Cup last weekend at the Jimmy Austin Golf Club in Norman. However, the Cowgirls must turn around quickly as the Big 12 championships take place this weekend. OSU will look to repeat as champions after last year's record-breaking performance. When we come back, I got a chance to sit down with the newest member of the OSU coaching family. You won't want to miss it. From Jawan Evans leaving for the draft to Jeffrey Kerr leaving and then coming back, Cowboy fans have been through a lot in this last month. Yeah, the one that might have been the hardest pill to swallow, but I think Oklahoma State is in good hands with Coach Boynton. I was able to catch up with the new head coach and found out what he will change in his goals for this program moving forward. Coach Boynton made headlines this week, snagging highly touted transfer guard Michael Weathers from Miami, Ohio. Well, a lot as you can see, but mine would be Chris Carson trucking that Red Raider defender, solidifying his final win on senior day. Unfortunately, this is the last broadcast of the year here on the Poke Report. For all of us here at the Poke Report, it's been a fun year. For Lucas Messina, I'm Tyler Segerman.